Let us rejoice in the wonders of Jesus Christ in the lives of yours. Thursday, week 11 of the Ordinary Time. This talk and meditation is prepared by Father Jeremy Habiarimana. First reading, Elijah was snatched away in the whirlwind, and Elisha received two-thirds of his spirit. Reading the book of Ecclesiastes 48, 1 through 15. Like a fire appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as a flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered, and his seal he reduced them to straits. By the Lord's word he shut up the heavens and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds, whose glory is equal to yours. You brought a dead man back to life from the netherworld by the will of the Lord. You sent kings down to destruction and easily broke their powers into pieces. You brought down nobles from their beds of sickness. You heard threats of Sinai at Horeb avenging judgments. You anointed kings who should inflict vengeance and a prophet as your successor. You were taking aloft in a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with with fiery horses. You were destined it is written, in time to come to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord. Turn back the hearts of fathers towards their son, and to re-establish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen you, and who falls asleep in your friendships. For we live only in our life, but after death our name will not be such. O Elijah, enveloped in the whirlwind, then Elijah, filled then Elisha, filled with a twofold portion of his spirit, wrought many marvels by his mere word. During his lifetime, he feared no one, nor was any man able to intimidate his will. Nothing was beyond his power. Beneath him, flesh was brought back into life. In life, he performed wonders, and after death, marvelous deeds. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Psalm 96. 1 to 2, 3 to 4, 5 through 6, and 7. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and consumes his foe round about. His lightnings illumine the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountain melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice. And all people see his glory. All who worship graven things are put to shame, who glory in the things of naught. All gods are prostrate before him. Alleluia. Romans 8, 15. You have received a spirit of adoption as sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. The Gospel. You pray like this, reading the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 6, 7 through 15. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers, today the Lord of life and death, Jesus Christ, the Lord risen from the dead, the Lord of truth, the Lord who is the truth, the way, and the life, presents himself to fill us with truth by leading us to his Father, filling us with his same love through his word. In the first reading, Jesus Christ, gives us as models two people, the author of the Ecclesiastical 
and Saint Elijah. The author of the Ecclesiastical celebrates, praises the marvelous works the Lord did through the prophet Elijah. It is a gift of the Holy Spirit to marvel at holiness before sanctification in the face of the Lord's work in some people who let him act in his life, such as Elijah. The author of this book celebrates it, enjoys it. Jesus Christ shows it to us as an example, for his praises for Elijah remind us the song of Mary or Zechariah, or how Elizabeth was glad when she saw the work of the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mary. Thus we admire the saints and we worship the Lord's work in their lives. We see his, this holiness already in, his, in this life. Surely there are people near us who try or, or accept the will of Jesus Christ on their lives that let them into their lives. How do we, how do we talk about them? How do we live with them? When we speak of the wonders the Lord did in the great sense, are we happy or indifferent? As if, as if it were normal? Think, for example, in St. Pio, Father, contemporaneous with many of us as he died in 1968. He was canonized and his life was a marvel. Not only him, there are many more. It may be that there are people who follow Jesus Christ seriously, who are sanctified and we are indifferent. The work of Jesus Christ in their lives does not touch us. This is not how I act as author of the ecclesiastical. He admired himself. He rejoiced in the wonders of the Lord in the life of the prophet. The worst thing we can do is criticize or persecute those who love Jesus Christ. This happens there. There are people who, instead of marveling at the work of Jesus Christ in a person's life, begin to criticize him, to persecute him, or to insult him. It's something demonic. Persecution and criticism of the saints is something of the devil, and that is close to us. Some rejoice in the lives of the saints, and others criticize them and persecute them. Jesus Christ today calls us to rejoice in his marvelous works in the lives of the saints. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for your work in the life of St. Teresa of Jesus. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for your work in the life of St. Father Pio. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for your work in the life of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for the Virgin Mary, for what you did in, your, in her life. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for giving us the saints. There you are playing. For them we rejoice, for those who are following you seriously, for those who have faithfully consecrated their lives to you. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We praise you for them. Jesus Christ introduces us to Elijah, who followed the Lord radically. His work on him is a marvel. The spirit of Elijah, who was not afraid of anyone, has to help. We know that the devil is the first terrorist. He is the first to terrorize through the evil people who persecute us, who hum humiliate us. But that is nothing in the face of the power of Jesus Christ's love. May the Lord Jesus Christ give us that spirit of Elijah so that we can be courageous prophets, proclaiming Jesus Christ without fear of anyone. Jesus Christ in the gospel teaches us to pray. It's not the words we say, but what we are, children of the Father. Our prayers are every life given in the name of Jesus Christ to the Father. It is our life transformed into children of the Father for the sacrifice, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Outside of this, our prayers are just words, just words. The important thing is to enter the kingdom, because from there you pray. Let the Spirit of Jesus Christ transform all our lives so that we can say without lying, Father, because you have me begotten in love, I have your peace in me. I have your love in me. I have your life in me, Father. We like to say Father because we know how to be forgiven. To be the Son of the Eternal Father is an honor that no one deserves. So one humbles oneself, is humble, avoids pride. All those who do not want to forgive their enemies, they're superb. Lord Jesus, I forgive all who persecute me, even those who want to kill me. I forgive them in your name, for I am not of this world, but Son of the Father. The logic of prayer is to let the Father make us 
his children, and trust not in my words, but in, in himself, and his son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus, I trust in you. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us. Mm-hmm.